How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna go ahead and kick off our vSmart template creation and then go ahead and onboard it to vManage as a templatized device and get that all squared away. And then we're gonna go do a quick overview of some of the different policies that are out there and things like that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the config. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up vManage. I'm already logged in. And what we need to basically do is look over here at the policies tab. So here on configuration and then policies. As you can see, here's our policy options. And if I am uh, focusing on centralized policy, if I click on add policy, here's what we have. Not as many options at the top as we did in data plane or the data policies, but we have our groups of interest, you know, what it is that we want to match on, things like that. If we don't have anything to match on, we can click on next and we can create a topology, top, uh, topology and VPN membership. This is going to control how we forward the traffic throughout the backbone and things like that. If you click in here, you can do like a hub and spoke topology because by default, everything is full mesh. You can do a custom control route and T-lock. So you can filter routes. You can set the next uh, the next top T-lock to be something else. So well, lots of cool things to do. VPN membership. If I was to add a policy in here, you can choose which VPNs can talk to which VPNs and things like that. If we click on next, you can do application aware routing, which is gonna leverage DPI. So you can create a new policy or import an existing one. If you want to affect traffic data, you can create a new policy here. So if we were gonna create new, this would be a sequence type and you can affect what it is that you're gonna to try to do. Like whether you're gonna redirect traffic to a firewall, if you're going to inject traffic in the data plane to go to a firewall, traffic engineering, things like that. Some really cool stuff that you can do here and we're gonna click on next, and then you would have your policy that you would create, and then you would have application aware routing, traffic data, or uh, Cflow D for NetFlow. So those are some of your different options that you have. But before we can do any of that, we have to go back to our devices, and if we look at our controllers, we can see that our vSmart is CLI mode, right? What I wanna do is get an assigned template to that. So I'm gonna come back over here to templates, and then I'm gonna to go to feature templates, and then I'm gonna add a template. Let me go ahead and scoot this over just a little bit so that we have a little bit more legroom to work with. And what we do is we're gonna organize these. vSmart's gonna sit down here. We're gonna click on add template and then we're going to select vSmart out of our collection. And then we're gonna start off with the VPN template. So VPN template's gonna be pretty straightforward. We're gonna come in here and say vSmart underscore uh, VPN zero template, because that's the only VPN it's got. Well, 512 as well, but we'll set that up. And then we're gonna create a, uh, this guy here is only gonna give us a couple of options. VPN zero is one of them. Our default route, we're gonna configure this one will be 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, zero. And my next top is gonna be pointing to 223.1.1.1. I'm gonna click on add and then add again. And there's nothing really else for me to add. I'm gonna click on save. So that's VPN zero. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this over and organize these. I'm gonna grab VPN zero template. I'm going to copy that and change this to be VPN 512. Copy and paste that in, click on copy. And so I'll be able to edit that. VPN 512 for vSmart. I'm gonna edit this guy. And then in here in the drop down, I'm just gonna choose VPN 512. VPN 512, there will not be a default route, so I'm gonna trash that guy and click on update. The next thing I have to do is create a interface. So I'm gonna configure ethernet zero for the connection. And then there is gonna be ethernet one, which will be VPN 512. So Add feature template, grab vSmart, VPN interface, and then we're gonna come in here VPN or vSmart underscore VPN zero eth zero template. Copy and paste that in. Um, we're gonna come down to shutdown. It's gonna be global, will be no shutdown. Interface name will be eth zero. The tunnel will be, the IP address will be static and we're gonna come in here and do 
uh, global, because we're only going to have one vSmart. So I'll put in here 223.1.1.12 slash 24. The tunnel will be turned on because there's a tunnel interface. We're going to come underneath here, go to global, turn it on, and we're just going to uh, all the allow under allow service, we're going to select all and change that to be global and turn it on. And that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else for me to modify here. Click save, and that's VPN Ethernet or VPN zero ETH zero. So I'm going to come in here and organize these real quick. I'm going to grab that interface right here. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to change this to be VPN uh, VPN underscore or uh, five twelve, and paste that. But this is going to be actually I need to change this to be ETH one, ETH one here and uh, ETH one there. Click on copy. and we'll be good to go there. I'm gonna scroll down just to make sure that that copied over. And it did, so I'm gonna come in here on VPN 512 ETH1, and I'm going to edit it, change this to be ETH1, and it's going to be shut down. And I'm not going to, um, I'll give this a default interface, that doesn't need to have one, and the tunnel interface is gonna be off and then save, update that configuration. So now that we have that in place, we should be good to go for those few bits of information. So, so far we've created VPN zero and VPN zero interface. We created VPN 512 and VPN 512's interface. The next thing we have to go do is, we already have the banner, which is hanging up here. And we also have the system template, which is right here. Now this is vEdge. So we need to create two new templates. So I'm going to grab the system template one real quick. I'm going to grab this guy here. I'm going to say um, change device model. And underneath here, I'm going to choose vSmart at the very bottom. Uh, let's see, it should allow me to do this. The edge. Well, let me do this. I honestly don't know. V. Oh, it's, you can't you can't click in here. You got to click in the one below. vSmart. Okay, apparently that won't work. I thought it might, but I guess not. Add feature template, uh, vSmart, and then we're gonna come up here to be um, system, and we'll call this vSmart underscore system template. Copy and paste that in there. Uh, the site ID, yep. System IP, yep. Host name, yep. Time zones, fine. Location doesn't matter. None of this other stuff makes much of a difference. So we're in good shape there. So as long as all the details make are squared away, we should be in good shape. Go ahead and click on save. And then we're gonna do one more for vSmart for the banner. So vSmart banner template copy and paste that in. The global one will be welcome, or this is gonna be uh, authorized users only. And then this one will be changed to global as well, to welcome to next gen networking. Boom, click on save. And we're in good shape. All right, now that we have everything organized, we're gonna just take a quick look at this real quick. We have our system template, our banner template, VPN zero, ETH zero, VPN zero, VPN 512, VPN 512, ETH one template. So we have all of our templates created. So now it's a matter of going back over to the device template, choosing vSmart, associating all of those templates to vSmart, and then associating the template to vSmart in order to continue moving forward. So let's go ahead and click on device template. We're gonna create a template from a feature template. We're gonna choose vSmart out of the list and this will be, oh, oops, did I miss it? vSmart. And then we're gonna type in vSmart device template, copy and paste that in. And then from the system, we're gonna call vSmart, 
Could scroll down here to VPN 512, v VPN 0 template, add the interface for VPN interface for VPN 5 or VPN 0 ETH 0. Under VPN 512, we're going to choose VPN 512. And for the interface, we're going to choose VPN 512. There we go. So all of our templates have been matched. Banner, be smart template. For banner, we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And then I'm going to go to the next step of associating this to a particular device. So click on click on it first and then associate or attach devices. We only have one vSmart. We're going to click on him and attach, click attach. And then I'm going to have to go in here and populate some information. So the address will be, in this particular case, uh, address. It's looking for, uh, let's say, let's already get the address. Oh, maybe the next top. So 223.1.1.1. And then we're going to, the host name is going to be uh, vSmart. We're going to specify the system IP will be 10.100.0.12 and the site ID will be 100. I'm going to click on update and click on next and configure devices. And then after a moment or so, we should be online with this guy. All right, configuration was good. So we're going to go back to devices and click on controllers. And we can see that it is now vManage for vSmart and v, vSmart device template. So we're good to go there. So now if I wanted to go and create a control policy, centralized control or centralized data policy, I can do it now, which is what we're gonna do in the next video. So we're gonna take a look at exactly how that type of stuff comes into play. We'll go through and we're initially gonna start off with some of the easy stuff, uh, hub and spoke topology and go through those details, but we need to make sure that we understand all the things that go into those details and go from there. Just remember, that we're not, for centralized control policies, we're going from vManage, we're pushing that information down to vSmart, which then pushes it down to the v edges. For data policies that affect the data plane, we're still going to send something to the v, smart, to the v edges, and we'll take a look at that in, on the data policies, because we have to still affect the, um, the data plane. So we'll look at a command called show policy from vSmart, so we'll see some information pushed for that. But that's basically where we're at in terms of the operations. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch all of you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.